Hello, 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 my dears. So today we are starting a new set of nibs and these are the Leonard nibs that I went through in that like kind of random video. And we're gonna take a look today. Fortunately, I have labeled them all. I think we're gonna take a look today at the Runtand. Have to put the label to the side because I am gonna wanna replace it. So, looks a bit like a tape nib. Doesn't quite have the tank and I do believe it is an italic nib. So we're doing this in our Denik Inktober sketchbook. And as always, I have to caveat that me using the sketchbook is not a recommendation. I'm just trying to use what I have. If you're looking for a paper recommendation, I do really like Strathmore's 500 series plate Bristol. That is the smoothest Bristol they have. I find it works really, really well with dip pens. And we're gonna try to use this in my touchy towel holder. And if that won't work, we'll pull out another. And it does, how perfect. And we're gonna be inking with Daler Rowney FW Acrylic Ink in Payne's Gray. Just kind of keeping consistent here with our nib reviews. If you haven't checked out my other nib reviews, I really recommend you do so. I need to put them all in their own playlist because I've, I've hit quite a few. So with an italic nib, you're gonna get be able to get a variety of I don't want to say brush marks or brush jokes because that's not wrong, but you're going to be able to, I mean, that's not right. You're going to be able to get a variety of marks. And this one has a little bit of flex to it. And it seems like it's a really good writer, really steady writer. And it seems to put down a fair amount of ink. So I'm bearing down on the downstroke. And as you guys can see, I can get some variable pressure with that. Going a little lighter here. So it's kind of neat. You don't normally see italic nibs, or at least I don't normally see italic nibs that offer some variety. Now it puts down a fairly thick line weight regardless. And I feel like my nib has a little wiggle in this holder so this might be a better fit in a speedball holder or something that can hold it tighter like one of those Koenor uh, dip pin holders with the metal ferrule on the inside. I don't really feel like doing all that experimenting today though. But I do feel a holder with a tighter grip would give me a little more control than I feel like I have. Not that this is the hardest nib I've, I've used. It is certainly not the most difficult to control. And I'm able to get some nice variety of line weight while still having a lot of control, which is nice because I am a heavy handed anchor and I have a cat trying to force his way into my chair, which always makes things challenging. Hard to ink when you've got a cat. To just do what you're gonna do, dude a cat trying to take up your entire lap. Okay, that's the first time I got some railroading, but it's probably because I waited for my cat to settle himself before I started inking. Now with nibs like this, I would say just using an alcohol ink, it's probably not an alcohol, sorry, an alcohol nib, uh, gee whiz, an alcohol wipe is probably not enough to get into all those little nooks and crannies. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run it under some water, wash away most of the ink, and then I'm going to use the alcohol wipe to just kind of finish cleaning it off. One of the nice things about this nib is it's not scratching up my paper, which on the Denik paper is somewhat unusual. I 
also pull a fairly long line before it runs out of ink and it's not overly prone to dripping all those little ripples and ridges on the nib sort of help with that and as always I seem to ink myself into a corner because I've inked everything but the eyes let's try and get a thin line on the lower eyelashes at least it's always something about like delicate inking that makes me want to sneeze I think it's because by the time I get to that point my cat has claimed my lap Whoa, did you guys see that? What the heck? Sounds like my computer's battery backup. Kicked in for a second there. Stop it. Stop. I'm talking to the cat, sorry. Ow. I really need to start kicking him out of the studio if I'm going to record. He is just too disruptive. Alright, so just about finished. Well, made a little mistake right there. Not a big deal. Anyway, the Rundhand, which I think it is a Leonard nib, but I'd have to denibify it in order to find out. And I don't really want to get my hands all super duper inky right now. Um, it is not a bad inker. It's fun. Um, it gives an interesting selection of marks. You have an interesting variety. I wouldn't necessarily recommend it for a beginning, a beginning inker, uh, just because um, you know it's not really your typical pointed pen, and it's not really your typical drawing nib. So I would hate for someone to get used to this and then try to use another nib. I mean, you're welcome to do that. It just does not perform the same at all. However, if you keep in mind that you're gonna, that inking with a pointed pen that has some flex is gonna be completely different from inking with this nib, and you're looking for sort of like training wheels, this can be a really good way to go, especially because just twisting and the turning, just twisting and turning the nib gives you a variety of line weights all in one nib, and you really don't need that much hand control or hand pressure. So this could be good if you have shaky hands. Um, but also with a bit of pressure, you can get a much heavier line weight without having to be very, very light-handed early on. So, you know, I say maybe it's not the best nib for a beginning inker, but it could be a good nib for um, an inker who's struggling with using dip pin nibs or has control issues or maybe has um, minor hand tremors or just anything that has kind of turned you off from inking with dip pins in the past. This could be a good nib to help remedy that. So I hope you guys found this nib review to be helpful and informative, uh, maybe even inspiring. You can check the description below on where you can get your own. Um, if you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments. If there is a specialty nib that you would like to see me try that I haven't done so far, let me know that as well. And if you enjoyed these nib videos, give me a shout out. Share this video with like five of your friends. That helps me out a lot, helps me build an audience, and it helps your friends out too. So I hope you guys have a great day and I hope to see you again really soon. Bye guys.